Let's create a loan amortization table that also displays the property's value and the value of the property appreciating over time as well as displaying the equity that you have at the end of each period. So let's get right into it. We're going to go ahead and start off with an input box. Input box. Here we're going to manually input some uh, variables and then over here we'll have an output box that will use the numbers we put in the input section to generate a, a different number. So let's start off with the home value. Home value. This is the price of the home at the time of purchase. So let's say we're going ahead and purchasing an $180,000 home. We're going to have a down payment. And let's say we put down 25%. 25%. Let's go ahead and have the loan term. So we're going to be taking on a loan to get the property for 15 years. This is in years. We're going to have the interest rate, the annual interest rate. And let's say we get that at 4.25. And we're going to fully amortize the loan, basically meaning we're going to pay off the loan in full at the end of 15 years. And we're also going to have an appreciation of the of the property. We're going to have an appreciation rate of 2% each year. So at the end of every year, your property will appreciate by 2%. All right, so for the output box, we're going to have the mortgage amount. We're going to have the loan to value, the total number of payments. Total number of payments, the monthly rate, the monthly payment, and the appreciation rate. But this will be a monthly, the monthly appreciation rate. Now for the mortgage amount, we're going to take on the value of the home minus the down payment, which is the value of the home times the down payment percentage. So we're putting down 25% and taking on a loan of 135,000. And by having an input box here, we can easily change this to 20%. That means our loan will be 144, or we can keep it at 25, taking on a $135,000 loan. Okay, so here we're gonna have the loan to value, which is just basically the mortgage that you're taking on versus the value of the property. The total payments, well, we're taking on a 15-year uh, mortgage which with monthly payments, so that's 15 times 12. The monthly rate is the annual rate divided by 12. So for the monthly payment, we're gonna go ahead and use the payment function, which is going to be equal PMT. Our rate is this monthly rate. Number of periods, is the total number of payments. The present value is the mortgage amount. And then the future value, uh, you're typically going to put zero and then close parentheses and that's your monthly payment. But if you wanna take advantage of the amortization, you can add this little piece at the end, which would be the mortgage amount times parentheses one minus the amortization amount, close parentheses. Now in this scenario, we're paying off the full loan, so the payment will be the same. But if we were to only partially amortize the loan for let's say 50%, our monthly payment will be lower. But at the end of the 15 years, we will still have a remaining balance because we didn't fully amortize the loan. We didn't fully pay it off. But that could be a separate video. In this scenario, we're just going to do 100%, meaning we're paying off the loan entirely. Now, for the appreciation rate, we're going to use the rate function. And for the number of periods, we're going to be, it's going to be 12 because we're going to compound this monthly. We're going to have zero payments. The present value is negative 1. 
and then the future value is the appreciation rate, the annual appreciation rate, plus one. We can close that up, and that will give us our monthly appreciation rate on the home's value. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start the actual table, which is really not that hard. You just got to get the first two lines in, and you're pretty much set. So when we do the loan amortization table, we're going to go ahead and have a few columns here. We're going to have the period. We're going to have the beginning balance, which is the beginning balance of the loan. And we're at the beginning of the month. We're going to have our payment. We're going to have the interest that we're going to pay and then the principal the ending balance, the home value, and the equity that we have on the property. So this is a 15 year loan with 180 total payments or periods. So we're gonna start with zero, one, highlight both, and then drag down to 180. There we go, 180 payments. And the beginning balance on the loan is going to equal the mortgage amount. This is the loan that we have uh, to pay. We have $135,000 to pay. Since we're on period zero, this is the uh, essentially the day in which we got the loan. We're not going to be making a payment just yet. So we're not going to have any interest, not going to have any principal. The end balance is going to be the beginning balance of the loan minus the principal, which is the same amount because we haven't, again, we haven't made any payments yet. The home's value is the 180,000, what the home was worth at the time of purchase. And then the equity in a home is always the home's market value minus the mortgage that you have on the property, or at least the, the remaining part of the loan that you have. So in this case, we have a $135,000 loan on the property. So we have $45,000 in equity, which makes sense because that was what was our down payment. That's the money we have in the property. So now in year one, this is just going to be the end balance from the last period. That's going to be this period's beginning balance. The payment is always going to be the same at 1016 and we're going to go ahead and click F4 to lock this cell because every period or every month we're going to make the same monthly payment. Now that payment obviously is not going to go all against the mortgage. You're going to pay interest and that interest is the balance that you have on the loan times the monthly interest rate. And we're going to go ahead and lock that as well with F4. And then the principal is basically the difference between the payment and the interest. So your payment subtracting the interest gives you the amount of the payment that went towards the principal, which the principal reduces your mortgage amount. And that will give you the end balance for your mortgage. Now for the home value, we're going to appreciate the 180,000 times one plus the appreciation rate. And we're going to go ahead and lock that. So at the end of the first month, we made a thousand dollar payment of those a thousand dollars, about 540 went to principal, which reduced our loan and the home value of our property appreciated by around $300. So if we take our equity at the end of month one, we take the home value minus the end balance. And you can see our equity on the property went up because A, we paid down our loan a little bit and B, we appreciated our home's value. Over time, the property went up by 0.165%. And now once you have these two lines, the period zero and period one, it's nothing more than just highlight these columns, 
and then fill. Now to make sure you did it right, your end balance should be zero at the 180th uh, month, which in this case it is, it's zero. By the time that the loan is fully paid off in the 15 years, you should have around a $240,000 property. Remember we bought it for 180. And the equity in the property would be the same as the home's value because we don't have any mortgage to subtract from it. So that's a basic loan amortization table with appreciation of the property and the equity as well. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.